welcome to Inside the Queen's English with your girl Chloe. And today we have Cam here, and we are gonna do an episode on da -na 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 -na, Vogue, yes. but more importantly, the history of ballroom culture because it is so mainstream right now. And but we want to go back to you know the history of it. Yes. So. Cam, introduce yourself. Welcome, welcome. There's so much history and culture here, particularly in and towards ballroom and LGBTQ um, identified persons. A lot of my peers found ballroom culture uh, out of necessity. Mm -hmm. So they like they had to. They didn't really have supportive homes, like mm -hmm. homes they were born into. Mm -hmm. and, they didn't really have supportive family, and so out of necessity of love and to feel seen and heard, mm -hmm. ballroom found them. And not to say that my ballroom brothers and sisters had to find ballroom in order mm -hmm. to feel love, but mm -hmm. it's something that kind of was supplementary okay. in that for them. And so I would see all these clips and hear friends talking about ballroom and voguing and all these things. I was like, what is that? That sounds fab. Mm -hmm. And so I found it in that capacity and it was almost like a, a sport and I'm, mm. I'm very competitive. And so I found ballroom and I was like, oh, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. And especially I have a dance background. I was going to say, yeah, you're an artist. So yes. And ballroom, the ballroom culture, ballroom itself, it's competitive, but it's art, it, you know, art. like uh, the competitors are artists in their own mm -hmm. right, whether, you know, it's the walking, you mm -hmm. know, whether it's um, the design of the costume, mm -hmm. whether it's the presentation, the, the attitude you're giving, you know, that's artistry. Like the reason it has gotten so, I mean, I have my thoughts mm -hmm. about ballroom and mainstream that's, mm -hmm. a, that's something else but I love it mm -hmm. I do love it and I think that it gives people in the ballroom the platform to be seen that we would haven't otherwise had mm -hmm. um, but also like in ballroom there are the houses mm -hmm. and then and in order in order to expand your houses like you go and you open houses and have chapters in all these other cities mm -hmm. so your house is more fab mm -hmm. the more places it can reach mm -hmm. so if you have a house in japan a house in china a house in ireland a mm -hmm. house in and so now you feel fab because right. your house has like you are international like the house of chanel mm -hmm. one of their chances international like it's like a thing because, because they the, are international yes, yes. Right. we talk about houses can we um can we discuss some houses that are legendary you mm -hmm. know house of la Beja, we have the house of chanel mm -hmm. we have the house of revlon and you have house of ebony yeah that's also a legendary <laughs> house yes and most houses originated in new york city yes. Um, and then has expanded. There are other houses that did not originate here. Correct. However, the beginnings, the history of ballroom culture is in New York City, mm -hmm. um, particularly in the Harlem scene, mm -hmm. um, but also in Brooklyn because House of Ebony was found in Brooklyn. Another beautiful thing about ballroom mm -hmm. is language. Yes. You know, I just listening to you now, <laughs> fab, <laughs> iconic, yes. legendary, yes. and mm. language that particularly is used within the larger queer spectrum, you know, um, and I think it's important that we understand the etymology of these words and where they come from. So let's talk about the ballroom scene, a ballroom culture. So. Here we go. Ballroom scene or ballroom culture, now, a distinct social community comprised mostly of black and Latinx gay and transgender members who use ballroom competitions as a safe place to express their gender, sexuality, and artistic spirit. The phrase phrases ball culture, gay balls, and drag ball can also be used. Yeah. How do you feel about that definition? Pretty direct. Yeah. yeah Would you like direct. to add anything else? Um, it touched everything yeah. in a way. It touched every mm -hmm. part of where, how, why balls exist mm -hmm. and they're important. So yeah, no, I'm good. Category, noun, a division of ballroom competition with strict rules surrounding a particular thing. There are particular categories for how you identify. Mm -hmm. 
whether it be drag queen, femme queen, butch queen. Female figures, um, that excludes butch queens. That's right. But it's, but, so female figures is inclusive to drag queens. Correct. Femme queens. Correct. And women. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's a category for all to participate. Yes. But a lot of times in ballroom culture, the categories are very particular mm -hmm. to um, your identity expression. Yeah. Can you give us some different categories that are very popular? The most popular categories today, in 2020, the most popular categories are Vogue Femme or Performance. Mm. Performance, mm. which um, encompasses Old way, new way, Vogue Femme. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then we have, or Vogue Femme, that's the most specific, but the most popular is Vogue Femme. Mm -hmm. um, runway, which is what I walk. Realness, mm -hmm. that's big. Realness is a big category. Mm -hmm. um, face is mm -hmm. a huge category. Realness with a twist. Realness with a twist, right. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And then there are categories that are like dying out, unfortunately. Oh, what are those? Yeah. We don't really see them much, like Bazaar. Oh yeah, rare. I was gonna ask you about Bazaar. Bazaar, mm -hmm. sneaker versus sneaker. They don't. It's, I don't think it's dying. They just okay. don't do it. Okay. Butch Queen, me. <laughs> well, a noun, a category competition in ballroom scene for cisgendered men. Mm -hmm. Butch Queen is more or less an identity. Mm -hmm. And so then you'd see Butch Queen attached to specific categories. Mm -hmm. So within the community, we have Butch Queens, Femme Queens, Drag Queens, mm -hmm. cisgendered women. Mm -hmm. They would do women's performance, right. things like that. And so um, you'll see on the list of categories, it'll say BQVF, Butch, Butch Queen, Queen Vogue Femme. Okay. Or Butch Queen's Face. So this is um, a specific, a specific like, so Vogue Femme is mm -hmm. its own thing. It's a category. And you can break that down into women's Subcategories, that's right. And let's talk about Vogue. Yes. Okay, here it is. Vogue, a noun, a modern house dance that combines stylized movement and model-like poses with intricate angular arm and leg movements Voguing is an evolving art form that originated in the late 1980s as an artistic form of throwing shade. <laughs> Styles include New Way, Old Way, and Vogue Femme. Verb, to dance in the style of Vogue. Yes, tell us about voguing. That's good. <laughs> Did you know, by the late 1980s, voguing was a fully developed house dance technique that evolved from the work of Black and Latin ex dancers in Harlem. Willie Ninja, known as the godfather of voguing, is widely credited for bringing the art form to mainstream culture. The technique was inspired by high fashion models' poses in Vogue magazine, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and African art. In the 1990s, Madonna's hit song Vogue, which featured dancers like Jose and Luis Extravaganza <laughs> from the New York's underground ballroom culture, became an international chart topper. Mm -hmm. Usage note, the, this term originated in ballroom culture. It has been appropriated by mainstream culture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so with the, the dictionary, yes, it'll have a definition. Mm -hmm. And we also like to use um, real life usage examples. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's important, like I said, to have like facts, like did you know, history, you know, hit history and content. And also, I think one of the most important components of the dictionary is the usage note mm -hmm. because it explains um, where, if possible, the etymology of the word, like what community created this, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like particularly the ballroom community is not getting its just due and um, making sure that that happens. I was gonna say, let's talk about Kiki scene. Yes. Um, so ball, you have the mainstream ballroom, mm -hmm. right? That, that's the origination. But then you have the Kiki scene, mm -hmm. and the Kiki scene is for the younger walkers mm -hmm. um, to have an opportunity to show up Absolutely. and show out. But I think that's a beautiful thing that was started, mm -hmm. and I think it was started, what, in the early 2000s? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, again, right in New York City. Can we just talk about new way and old way Absolutely. of voguing? Old way, mm -hmm. where, where it all started. Mm -hmm. 
extremely angular, mm -hmm. militant, mm -hmm. um, but still inspired by poses. Mm -hmm. So, like, a lot of lines. It's um, classic. It's, yeah. it, like, old way. That's classical training. Yes. Ooh. And if you want, and, and, you know, this is just an artist in me talking. If you want your best, you have to, you have to know the foundation. Yes. You take the choreography or you take what you've learned mm -hmm. and then you manipulate it. Yes. You know, and I feel like that's the beauty of New Way is that you've taken that foundation and then you manipulate it. Mm -hmm. With Vogue Femme and the Five Elements, mm -hmm. there are not extreme, but a very clear sense of femininity. Okay. And also way more expressivity and articulation of like rib cage and uh, hands mm -hmm. and wrists and mm -hmm. your back and like mm -hmm. it's way more fluid. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can honestly do what you want. You can twerk. You, and as long as the five elements are there, yeah, Vogue yeah. Femme, which is why it's the most popular. You're right. Like, you can do what you want. Well, let's talk about the elements, I yes. guess. Hands performance. Mm -hmm. Hands, mm -hmm. everything hand based, fingers. Mm -hmm waves, taps, like hand performance. And these are the five elements of Vogue Femme. Vogue Femme. Yes. Okay. Hand performance, catwalk, which is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Duck walk, which is the same thing as a catwalk, but you're on a lower level. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of like bouncing on your feet, like doing really, really small kicks. Mm -hmm. Duck walk, like mm -hmm. how a duck would walk. Mm -hmm. um, floor performance, which is anything on the floor. Okay. And then the last one, is um, spins and dips. Mm -hmm. So any sort of revolving shape that could ooze your way down into your dip. Yeah. Uh, you could do figure eights. Uh huh. Wait, let's go so back. Down. <laughs> down. Switch at the switch bottom. Switch at the bottom. Up. Up. So like flick it at the top. Up. Okay. Down. down switch up. Flick. Up. Down. down. Flick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. like a lot of people tap. That's a thing. Like you can like tap your body. So are these hands too? This yes. is part of hands. Okay. Hands performance is an element of Vogue Femme. Okay. And it's such an expressive element because that's the part that you use to tell your story. Mm. So like. Like your, hey, hands, okay. your hands tell the story. Mm -hmm. And so that can sometimes they make hands performance its own category. Okay. They'll pull two chairs up oh. and you sit on your chairs and you battle. Sometimes they have you face each other, sometimes uh -huh. they have you face the judges. You have to bite on the money because yeah. you don't know who you're gonna battle. Yeah. Yeah.